व्हाट्सअप गाइस कैसे हो आप लोग आपने लास्ट वीडियो में मोस्ट प्रोबली देखा होगा कि मेरे पास एक बॉक्स आया था राइनॉक्स का आज मैं आपको इस बॉक्स में दिखाऊंगा क्या क्या है इस राइडिंग गेयर को एक्चुअली मुझे भी टेस्ट आउट करने का टाइम नहीं मिला क्योंकि मैंने बॉक्स खोला ही नहीं अभी तक बट खोलने के बाद राइडिंग गेयर को एक बार टेस्ट आउट करेंगे मे बी संडे राइड पर और क्योंकि अभी लॉन्ग राइड तो थोड़ी दूर है मे बी नेक्स्ट मंथ एक लॉन्ग राइड करूँगा बट अभी फ़िलहाल आपको राइडिंग गेयर दिखाते हैं क्या क्या आई है सो दैट इज़ द पैकेज इसको अनबॉक्स करते हैं सो हैवी गो काफ़ी सारा सामान है ऊपर तक भरा हुआ है पैकेज इट्स क्वाइट अ बिग एंड हैवी पैकेज एंड लेट्स सी व्हाट इज देयर फर्स्ट थिंग फर्स्ट वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग्स दैट यू विल एवर नीड इफ यू आर राइडिंग इज राइडिंग जैकेट दिस इज द स्टॉम ईवो राइडिंग जैकेट फ्रॉम राइनॉक्स इट इज़ एन ऑल वेदर जैकेट आई बिलीव विद लॉट ऑफ लेयरिंग ऑफ मैश हेयर Uh, I specifically ordered the sand brown color because all the gear that I've owned till now has been either black or grey. I remember using the Rhinox Advento jacket and pant since 2016 uh, till 2020. Basically, for four years, I used the Rhinox Advento pant and a jacket. I am forgetting the exact model name, but I think that combination costed me about thirteen thousand rupees and lasted for four years. After that, I Uh, I think it wore out a little bit. This is an all-weather jacket, as I said, and quite a few things have changed over the last few years. You see this buckle here to kind of tie up things, collar button and all. Uh, you have these metal sliders at the shoulders, and you have the standard protection as well. You have the shoulder protection, you have the protection in the elbows, and you have this big back protector as well. So everything that comes standard. And one thing that really sets this jacket apart, I think this is an upgrade from last few models that Rhinox has uh, come out with, is the availability of a chest protector. Uh, this jacket costs about ten thousand rupees. but still at this budget you are getting a chest protector which is in two parts basically on this zip if i can show you like this on the zip area uh, the chest protector is divided into two parts one on this side one on this side so this is something that i rarely see in some in some top of the line jackets as well normally people tend to buy a separate chest protector from you know expensive brands like liat and all but rhinox is providing a chest protector in this 10000 rupee jacket which kind of seems a steal i'll be sharing a detailed review of what i feel about this jacket with you guys after i do a sunday ride or maybe a long ride possibly in the near future so stay tuned for that that's for the jacket sand brown color looks dope next up in the box is let's see what it is it seems like the riding pant yes riding pant from rhinox a uh, sand brown color i wanted it to complement with the jacket the full suit is here so again like the jacket this is all weather one thing that has changed with rhinox over the years is that they are providing a more customizable package right now uh, initially i think few years back from what i remember these guys offered basically a winter liner and a rain liner with the jacket and the pant as standard and that was baked into the cost of the jacket and the pant but now these guys have gotten into a more modular approach where you can either buy the jacket and the pant solo or if you want you can couple them with a rain liner and a winter liner which are sold separately or you can buy them together as well but the pant comes with a winter liner baked in also it has a adjustable knee armor what i mean by adjustable is that the position of the armor on the knee can be adjusted up and down because it can stick to inside of the pant with a velcro mechanism so in most pants you have that problem that the that the knee armor is just placed at one position depending on the height of the person and different unique builds that everyone has sometimes there is an issue with the alignment of the knee armor with the proper at the proper position while you are riding on the bike so you can do away with that problem because of the knee slap mechanism that it has i'll talk more about it when i do a comprehensive review of this riding gear after using it so stay tuned for that talking about the price this pant is priced at 7000 rupees so for the jacket and the pant we are looking at 17000 rupees and that i think is a fair price point it is not too high that it gets out of reach of people who really want to get started with biking talking about certification all the protection in the riding gear that i've shown you the storm evo riding jacket and pant 
has NOx certified armors which are at level with all the armors that are provided by leading manufacturers. I have used the Rhinox riding gear for a good four years, done Ladakh about three, four times at least, done a lot of rides on different motorcycles from 2016 to 2020. Uh, touch wood, I have never had a fall, but the riding gear has been super comfortable to live in. Next up, what we have is a tank bag. This is the Rhinox Magnapod tank bag. Uh, the good thing about this tank bag is its capacity. It is expandable. In the standard configuration, it is 21 liters. When expanded by opening these zips, uh, the capacity increases to 28 liters. It can be mounted in two ways. One is it can be directly attached to your tank because it has four magnets that are built in which can directly be put on the tank of your bike if it is metallic but if you have a bike like the KTM ATV 390 or the BMW 310 GS which I think has a, a plasticky tank then you can also use straps uh, you can see the buckles here. These straps can be used to mount this tank bag on the tank. Also, you have plenty of pockets here. You see a uh, lot of space inside. You have these side pockets uh, here as well and a pocket to keep your smartphone and quick access stuff as well. Next up are some layers. Uh, as I told you, the layers are sold separately now. So. This is the Surge Winter Jacket, which is kind of a layer that you can wear inside the Storm Evo Jacket that has been provided to me. Winters are far away. When they come, I'll be testing this out as well. The second last item is the Rain Liner for the Storm Evo Pant, which has to be worn over the pant. Uh, I'll have to try out how comfortable the whole process is of wearing this liner. Uh, on the road so I'll be sharing feedback on that as well with you guys but it's pretty standard and I have used this exact liner uh, some time back when I was using the Rhinox gear so it worked fine on the water crossings riding in rain didn't allow water to seep in so let's see how it goes because right now it is kind of we are starting with the rainy season in Delhi NCR and possibly if I go for a long ride I'll be getting a chance to try this out and last, but definitely not the least, are a pair of riding gloves. These are the Rhinox Air GT. These are not very bulky. If you kind of wear these gloves, uh, they are not going to go much beyond your wrist. See, I am wearing a watch right now and these gloves are just ending at the wrist. So this is something that can be easily used when you are riding daily maybe to work or on a sunday ride if you want something which is not very flimsy so that's all about the gear that i wanted to kind of show to you guys talking about the price these air gt gloves cost two and a half thousand rupees and magnapod tank bag cost three and a half thousand rupees so essentially all the riding gear that i've shown you guys so far the riding jacket the riding pant uh, the gloves different layers and the tank bag all this comes in at around the 25,000 rupee mark so consider this if you are buying a bike like the interceptor 650 or the duke 250 duke 390 or any other bike for that matter any bike which is like one and a half lakh rupees one lakh rupees i would strongly recommend apart from budgeting for the bike the amount of money that you are going to spend on the bike ek bar uh, riding gear ke upar jo paise lagane uske bare mein bhi soch lena agar aap 2 lakh ki 1 lakh ki koi bike le rahe ho so at least 15 20000 rupaye alag se rakhna riding gear ke abhi isme humne helmet include nahi kari hai but ye amount abhi aapko bada lag raha hai par look at it ke for the next 5 years you are set in terms of riding gear riding gear ko aisi cheez nahi hai ke aapki bahut jaldi kharab hoti hai aapne na koi track pe ja ke racing karni hai na aapke koi as such koi racing wale as such ke crashes hone hai god forbid aapne normal touring karni hai road pe tamiz se bike chalani hai that is what i hope and aise bike chalane mein riding gear bahut jaldi kharab nahi hoti aaram se 5 saal nikalti hai so even if you are spending close to like 30000 rupees 30 35000 rupees one time you are getting everything that you need from a safety standpoint and that is very important on Indian roads. Chai up 100cc ki bike chala rahe ho, chai up 1200cc ki bike chala rahe ho. Riding gear hamesha top priority rakho aur uske liye budget hamesha bacha ke rakho. 
इंस्टेड ऑफ स्पेंडिंग ऑन एग्जॉस्ट जो अपनी बाइक पे फर्स्ट थिंग सोचते हो कि आवाज़ बड़ी अच्छी आएगी सबसे पहले इन चीज़ों पे खर्चा कर लो इसके बाद एग्जॉस्ट वगैरह के बारे में सोचना सो आफ्टर डूइंग दैट वॉक थ्रू आई थिंक इट इज़ ओनली जस्टिफाइड आई शो यू हाउ द राइडिंग केयर लुक्स ऑन मी लेट मी नो हाउ द सैंड ब्राउन कलर लुक्स एंड इफ़ यू वॉन्ट टू चेक आउट दिस प्रोडक्ट्स आई हैव लेफ्ट लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स बिलो फॉर द राइनॉक्स वेबसाइट चेक आउट देयर प्रोडक्ट्स लॉट ऑफ स्टफ इज देयर विच इज़ वेरी यूजफुल uh that you can use for your upcoming rides that is it for this video guys if you liked what i shared with you today give this video a like subscribe to the channel and also stay connected with me on my instagram 23 rides and hopefully we'll ride soon and i'll be sharing with you the detailed feedback of what this riding gear feels in the blistering heat that we are experiencing in the rally ncr region till then stay connected and see you bye bye